Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're going to look at a really unusual request and it's how do you straighten a wreath style image in Photoshop. So my viewer wanted to take something that looks similar to this and actually straighten it out. Now word of warning, this is not going to be perfect, but also it is an interesting sort of process to try and do in Photoshop. I mean, how would you straighten this out? So the design I'm using is actually a design from Design Cuts. So I'm just going to show you that. It's from the Wild Flora Wonders by Denise and it's from Design Cuts Collection. So if you're interested in that art, this is where I got it from. But of course we're working in Photoshop trying to straighten this out. I opened the design in Photoshop. I put a white layer behind it because it comes as a ping file and I've sized it down just a little bit. In fact, in a minute we're going to have to size it down quite a bit. But let's have a look and see how we might go about that process. And the first thing I thought of was the polar coordinates filter because the polar coordinates filter actually takes straight lines and makes them circular. So I wondered what would happen if you took a circle and put it through the polar coordinates filter apparently as one does when one is faced with a question like this. So let's see what that does. Well, this is what I get when I do a rectangular to polar adjustment with the polar coordinates filter. And I was really interested in what is happening here because I thought it had potential. So let's size this image down and let's place it further towards the bottom of the document. And let's try that again. Filter, distort, polar coordinates and we're choosing rectangular to polar and I'll click OK. And so I was getting a better result. This is almost sort of straight. So let's just undo that and let's see if we could do something with it. I'm going to hold the Alt or Option key as well as the Shift key and just squeeze this image in from the sides. And now let's run that filter again. Filter distort polar coordinates. Click OK. And this is what we got. And this is what I was looking at. This is almost straight. So I've almost got half of my wreath fixed. So let's undo that. And let's undo that a couple of times. I want to keep a copy of the original. So I'm going to make a duplicate, turn off one of the copies so that we can work on this layer. I'm going to do as I did just then. I'm going to scale it down quite a bit. And I'm going to move it to the bottom of the document because where you place your image in the document affects how it behaves in the polar coordinates filter. What I'm also going to do, as well as holding Shift and Alt or Shift Option on the Mac that would be, and squeezing it up, is I'm going to take the top part of it. So I'm actually going to carve this into two pieces. So actually let's go and get the bottom part because that's probably going to be easier. So I'm going to take the bottom half of this image because that didn't respond to the polar coordinates filter quite as well as the top half did. Actually I'm going to cut it through here. So I think my cut just wasn't particularly good. Let's undo that and let's try it again. I want to cut it a little bit higher up. Okay, I'm going to take this and choose layer, new layer via cut. So I've got this on two layers. I've got the bottom part and the top part. Let's go and get the top part. We'll select it and choose filter, distort, polar coordinates and click OK because this worked pretty well. So I'm just going to stretch it out a little bit and let's go with that. Let's go to the second half of the image and we know that already that this doesn't work. But what if we flip it over? So I'm just going to flip it over and up here I'm looking for the height to be minus 100%. So I'm just going to type in minus 100%. So this is the bottom half of the shape flipped over. Again, I'm going to run the polar coordinates filter on that. Distort polar coordinates, click OK. And again, we have a sort of approximation of a straight line. Now, you can experiment with different compressions of the original image. How far do you have to pull it in for it to actually work? And you may also want to perhaps experiment with height. Let's go and see if something is going to happen a little bit different here. And absolutely not. That's just terrible. So obviously what we were doing before is a better result making our shape a little bit upside down and squeezed in is giving us better results with the polar coordinates filter. But experimentation will help you get some way towards a solution. 
Now there's another tool that you could use and that is the Papa Orc tool. So I'll make sure that I have one of these layers selected. I'm going to work on this one because it was the better result and I'll choose Edit and then Puppet Warp. Now the way you work with Puppet Warp is you're going to put down points that you're either going to move or fix. So I'm sort of looking through this shape and seeing where I may want to make movement. So I've got quite a few pins in here and what I can do is just grab these pins and I can straighten the image out a little bit by just moving the image at the point where each of these pins are. You can also rotate if you hold the Alt or Option key over a point, you can rotate it at that point so you can get rid of some of the problems perhaps that the polar coordinates filter gave you when you were actually trying to stretch the image out. So again, holding Alt or Option and just trying to rotate this a little bit to perhaps get a better result. Now, I said that this was a totally imperfect science, which is exactly what it is. It's far from perfect, but we have gone some of the way to straightening out what was a wreath image into something that is a whole lot straighter. So you could experiment with the polar coordinates filter to do the original work on stretching it and then have a go at the Papa Orp tool, just mistake and then have a go at the Puppet Warp tool. With the Puppet Warp tool, you'll select your layer, you'll go to Edit Puppet Warp, and then you just put down pins, and the pins go down in places where you either want to hold things steady or where you want to move them. And so you're going to put plenty of pins in, and then once the pins are in, you can start moving them, hold the Alter Option key, so that you can rotate at those points, if that makes sense to do so at those points. So really interesting question and certainly one that I went initially, no, it can't be done to thinking, well, how are we going to do it? How can we possibly do this and get something of a decent result out of it? So there it is. It's a starting point. It's something you'll obviously want to experiment with given the pace of art that you're working with. I hope that you've enjoyed learning these Photoshop techniques. If this video was of help to you, please give it a thumbs up, click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell and you'll be alerted when I release new videos. Until next time, my name is Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.